this austerity movement in Washington that's kind of going coming across, and all the all the elected officials here talk about it. Do you think that's at some point going to slow what FEMA does as far as how wide their scope can be? Well, you know, our scope is determined by law, sure. and so we will continue to work to bring all of the programs to bear on any disaster right. uh, that, that we legally can bring to bear. Sure. Um, now, we always are looking for ways to do things more efficiently sure. on every disaster operation. We talk about it. We look for ways, uh, even if it's a small thing, I mean, right. copy on double-sided on sure. paper, sure. you know, all the way to, um, you know, how we uh, do contracts or anything else. Uh, right. and, uh, a lot of things, like when we open a disaster recovery center, we look for the local community, local government, and state government to assist us in identifying properties that could be donated for that use as opposed to having to pay leases and that sort of thing. So right. we're always looking for ways to do things efficiently. Do you think that FEMA does too many events? Like, do you think that maybe sometimes FEMA takes smaller events? Senator Blunt talked about that this, mor this morning in the newsletter article. You may have seen it. Where he was talking about how FEMA, they might want to relook at how FEMA looks at disaster, like what disasters they go to. Is that something that is, is worthwhile, or do you think FEMA goes to what it needs to go to? Well, you know, we go to wherever there's a presidential, sure. presidentially sure. declared disaster. Sure. And I think that the key, uh, or maybe one of the keys, right. one of the answers to this, is in preparedness. Right. And the efforts that we make with the state, uh, right. um, there are Department of Homeland Security grants that have gone into states to strengthen states and right. strengthen local communities. I think this was an example of a success story in that, sure. in that uh, we never had to bring in a federal search and rescue team. Right. Uh, so FEMA expended no dollars for search right. and rescue because Missouri... Uh, their search and rescue was so strong, and sure. the local uh, yeah. local fire departments and so forth uh, were able to go out and do the search and rescue with no need for assistance from the federal government. Sure. So those preparedness efforts in advance of a disaster and mitigation efforts are what will pay off.